In one of the country's most rapidly expanding industries, workers face prolonged exposure to toxins and carcinogens almost every day, often working long and taxing hours. Many of them are completely unaware of the occupational hazards they face, and exploitation is rampant within the industry, especially among newly immigrated workers. It may seem like I'm describing a chemical plant or a toxic waste disposal site, but this is the reality facing thousands of American nail salon workers. Let's begin with a question. I'd like a show of hands here. How many of you have ever had your nails done? If so, then chances are you've gotten a whiff or two of this stuff. I don't know about you, but just being near this gives me a headache. Now, can you imagine continuously inhaling it for eight hours a day, five days a week? There's a reason that nail polish smells so bad. It's packed with chemicals that you would never want near you, let alone on your skin. Let's take a look at what's inside. Toluene, known to damage the eyes, skin, lungs, and nervous system. Dibutyl phthalate, not only is it hard to pronounce, but exposure to high levels of it has been linked to birth defects. Formaldehyde, this is what they use to preserve dead animals in jars. Need I say more? Adverse effects of chemicals found in nail salon products commonly used by workers include skin irritation, respiratory issues, and cancer. Inadequate personal protective measures and the lack of awareness of occupational hazards have led to many people in the nail industry working in unsafe environments. In addition, government restrictions on the usage of such chemicals in cosmetics and in commercial environments are lenient. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration does not require pre-market approval for most cosmetics or tests to demonstrate product safety. Furthermore, there is no obligation for cosmetic companies to share safety information with the government. When my aunt arrived in America 20 years ago, she began working as a nail technician and eventually opened her own salon. Through years of painstaking practice, she learned to paint brightly colored, beautiful and intricate floral designs on her customers' nails every day. The beauty of her work belies its undeniable toll on her health. Not only has she dealt with breathing problems and painful skin rashes for years, but her daughter, my cousin Angel, was born with hydrocephalus, or fluid in her brain. Most teenagers her age would be starting to be active on social media, joining clubs in school, or trying on makeup for the first time. Angel will most likely never be able to walk, talk, or live on her own. She'll never get to experience all the happiness that comes with growing up. The issues she and my aunt have experienced confused and worried me. Our family history revealed no genetic predisposition to such conditions. Almost everyone else in our family was totally healthy. So what could be causing this series of problems? I suspected that it had little to do with my aunt's genetics and everything to do with her workplace. Nearly half of nail salon workers in the United States are of Vietnamese descent. So in order to investigate the results of exposure to known environmental toxicants used in nail salons within this demographic, I created a survey containing questions pertaining to respondents' personal health and compared nail salon workers' responses to those of non-nail salon workers. Currently, I've received 308 surveys, 158 of which were completed by nail salon workers. Although previous studies have analyzed the concentrations of volatile organic compounds in nail salons, few have focused on the workers themselves. So the goal of my research was to gather self-reported responses from Vietnamese American nail salon workers across the country in order to evaluate the health consequences of salon work. Here are some graphs illustrating the data I gathered. These are the results of my chi-square test, which indicated a significant relationship between nail salon work and experiencing the health symptoms listed here. This graph shows that a higher percentage of nail salon workers reported experiencing the symptoms shown. In addition, the nail salon workers were more likely to have children with both physical and cognitive developmental disabilities. Although I finished gathering data for my research project, my work is far from over. My curiosity about the health consequences of salon work inspired this project and led me to a conclusion with much wider implications. My research could benefit workers in the nail industry by yielding valuable insight into the risks Vietnamese American nail salon workers face. The relationship between salon work and certain health issues suggested by my data could be used to support the introduction of laws to improve workers' rights. 
Such legislation could include limits on concentrations of chemicals in salons, mandatory ventilation and filtration systems, and regulation of workers' wages and business hours. By no means are my findings only applicable to nail salon work. It's no secret that many industries routinely exploit immigrant workers to maximize profits, forcing them to work unreasonably long hours in unsafe conditions while earning close to minimum wage. Have you ever driven by a construction site and looked at the clouds of dust that filled the air? What about Florida's famous orange groves, where workers pick fruit from dangerously tall trees? Have you ever wondered just how long the guy in the commercial truck next to you on the highway has been driving? More importantly, have you ever thought about what we can do to help people like them? So this is what I learned from my research, but it could be relevant to all of you. Every discovery, whether scientific, cultural, or artistic, has to begin somewhere. My research began with a simple question. I noticed something that didn't seem quite right in the world around me and decided to examine it more closely. If you find a topic you're passionate about, don't hesitate to investigate further. Inquire, be bold. There are so many unanswered questions out there. Who knows what you might discover? Thank you.